Hello, this is Stuart Fleming. This is going to be the second video in the packaging of a JAR file. And today, what we're going to do is create an application and import the JAR file into it. So let's get started. Well, there's many ways of doing it, and if you look at the documentation on um, Chapter 38 of the Fusion Developer's Guide for Application Development, you'll find that there are a number of ways of doing it. And um, I think the newest way is using a resource palette. So let's do view resource palette. And over here, you can see that we have the ID connections. Sometimes um, when I first started, the, it was way down here and I didn't even notice it. So I wasn't, I didn't think that it worked. So that's one thing to consider, but you're going to do a file system since you've created a jar. And the file system direct connection name is going to be template SSF. And I have put it into a library directory, okay, that I have. And you don't actually select the jar, you put the, excuse me, where are we here? You put the directory in. Now you can, you can do it. Uh, but if you do test connection, it'll say, whoa, what's going on here? So you take that out and then do test connection. It says success. Okay. So now you have this show up and you can see that we have that. So let's just do a quick and dirty application. We're going to do a fusion web application. I don't really care about the name or where it is since this is just for testing purposes only. And we'll just finish it up and uh, get rid of this. Now I am going to show you, we're going to do new and we're going to do JSF and just to show you that there is no page template there. Now we're going to do our add to project and voila, very little happens. You can't even see it actually. You don't see any of the products, but if we do new and page is already selected, now you can see that SSF template is in, indeed there. And I'm going to go ahead and create it. And you'll see that all of the artifacts on the web page, all of the facets that we did will show up. It's pretty amazing that it works this way. Okay. <clears throat> now, um, let's see, I'm going to just create a quick and dirty task flow. Let's see, we'll do, um, ADF task flow. Here it is. And we'll leave that as is. We want to create it as a bounding and create it with page fragments. And we're going to create a new JSF. Uh, where is it? Page fragment. That's what we want. And we'll just call this detail. And we don't want to have any template on this, obviously, because it's the template has the. Um, in here. Now for the model, I don't have a model here, um, but I do have an app. I do have a um, a model um, that I created packaged. So let's again do new connection and uh, what am I doing? File system, and I'm going to do uh, model hr, and the directory path is. Easier if I just pop it in there <clears throat> and show that. Test the connection. It's a success. And where did that go? Oh, here it is. Up here. Add to project. And I want to make sure that I'm clicking on the right project because I don't want to click on the view controller by accident. Although I could remove it. Um, but uh, we want to be able to um, see it. Now you can see that there's nothing in there. 
Uh, but if I refresh the data control, hey, I've got something in there now. And I've just got a department's view, and I'm on the detail. I'll just do a quick run central table. I don't really, it's just for testing. So um, this is a great way of being able to hand out the, um, the model part of your application and not have people up change it. Um, so you can control what people, people have access to. Okay, now what we need to do is put some security in here. And um, I'll configure this first. We'll just do HTTP basic. The only thing I don't like about that is that um, there's some login issues. Um, you have to close the browser uh, so that you can completely log out. And then we'll do application roles. I'm just going to add a simple AR and user. Save. Enterprise role will be ER user. Users, just add myself. Welcome one and save. And what we're going to do is uh, we're going to assign the user to the ER, and we're going to assign, sorry, assign roles. We're going to assign the application role AR to the enterprise. Save. So we've got um, user, we have Stuart, enterprise role, ER user, and the member is Stuart, and the assigned roles is AR. And we've got the application role, and the, you can see the grants. There's none yet. That's what we're going to do next. And we're going to first do web page. All right. This happens sometimes when you create a file. It's got no page def. And um, that's because it doesn't really have anything bound on it yet. Um, so let's do that first. Um, I will open that up. I'm going to close these other things just to make sure that they're saved. And I'm going to drop the task flow definition. Now, I was getting some havoc about this earlier. It was saying, oh, there it goes. Looks like it's good. Um, it was saying that the main page def was not readable or writable. Um, so um, now it's got bindings, and you can see that the uh, file has been created. So that's good. So let's go back to our application security. Uh, the other thing that you can do if you don't have a, if it doesn't show up in the security, um, let me just open that up, uh, resource grants. If it doesn't show up when you do the web page, that means that there's no page def. And you can see that that's fixed. And you can sit, click on that and go page, go to page definition, and that will create the page definition if, it, if it's not there. So that's one thing. Now we're going to grant this to anonymous, anonymous. Very difficult to say sometimes. And so that one's fine. Now we're not going to grant the detail page. <clears throat> we're actually going to grant the task flow to the AR application role, AR user, so that when the person logs on, they'll be able to use the login, but they won't see this until they actually log on. Let's start this and roll. Okay, I'm going to show you. I'm going to run this, and it's going to fail, and um, there's a reason for it, which you might as well know about. Nobody's perfect, and um, basically, um, what did I do? I created a task flow and I put it on a region and I probably should have read what this said, but the region cannot be rendered at design time. Well, there's a reason for it. Part of it is because there's nothing on the region. Um, this needs to be copied over like that. And now it will run 
but it's always nice to um, show you my mistakes so that you can um, figure out when problems happen, some of the things uh, that have happened to me. Okay, we have the login page. And because the task flow was not on there, um, close that off. I actually took the task, task flow off. Okay, so now it's on the task flow definition. Excuse me. I'm trying to save that there. And we can rerun it. Okay, that's turned off. Okay, let's try this now. Okay, oh, what a relief. Okay, let's do a quick summary. Um, the bug that I had was because the uh, detail JSSF was not in the task flow. Uh, so always remember to put little objects in the task flow. Um, we had a resource component, we had the HR model, and we had the template. Uh, the template um, has the um, uh, template for the file along with the uh, images and the login functionality. And we also added a model um, to the application using the resource palette, um, ADF or HR model, and this jar. Um, and we packaged the jar very much uh, similar to the way we packaged the view controller. So that's a pretty long video. Uh, I hope this was helpful to you. Have a great evening.